Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Becky here again for a new Bible lesson. Today, I have brought some friends with me. What do you think? Isn't he cute? Lots of friends. How many of you have stuffed animals at home? Aren't they the best? Why do you think people like to have stuffed animals around? I think they're cute. Look at this little fella. Doesn't he have the greatest face? He is so cute. You know what? They're soft. I like to hug them. They're cuddly. They're warm. This one's really big. How do you feel when you hug an animal like this? I feel loved. I feel safe. I feel good, warm. Do you ever hug a stuffed animal when you're scared or when you're sad? I do, because these are my friends, and I keep them around all the time. And I also share them with my granddaughter. So today... Our lesson is about Jesus. We're in the first book of Matthew, which is in the New Testament, but we're going to go all the way to the end of Matthew in the chapter 28, the very last chapter, and we're going to the very last verse, verse 20. So if you have your Bibles and Mom and Dad can help you open to that verse, that would be great. We're going to hear a story first. Jesus and his disciples were just exhausted. All day long, they were with crowds and crowds of people. They had been following them all day long and listening to Jesus as he taught the people, as he healed the sick people. Now the sun was beginning to set. It was the end of the day. And they wanted to go over on the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Seeing how tired his disciples were, he said, let's just get in the boat. Let's go over to the other side of the lake. It would be good for us to take a little rest. The disciples rowed away from the shore, and Jesus went to the front of the boat, and he laid down on a cushion. The waves gently rocked the boat back and forth, and you know what? Jesus fell asleep a peaceful sleep. But suddenly, the wind came up. The dark clouds came across the sky. The waves weren't so gentle anymore. The little boat began to rock and rock. The disciples began to get a little worried. But Jesus lay sleeping in the front of the boat. Then the wind grew stronger still. The waves got bigger. The disciples got all wet. This was getting to be a bad storm. But Jesus still lay sleeping in the front of the boat. By the time the fishing boat reached the center of the lake, the wind had turned into an angry storm. The waves were so high, they washed right over the boat. The disciples were terrified. They thought they might drown. But Jesus still lay sleeping in the front of the boat. Finally, someone went and shook Jesus. Master, he cried, don't you care if we drown? Jesus looked around. He listened to the howling wind. He felt the cold waves coming over the boat. And then he saw the fear in the disciples' faces. Then Jesus stood, stretched out his arms to the wind and the waves, and said, Peace be still. And all at once, the wind died down. The waves were calm. Then he asked the disciples, Why are you so afraid? Where is your faith? Jesus showed his power over the wind and the waves that day on the Sea of Galilee. Just as he cared for his disciples in that little boat, he cares for us. This is what I really want you to remember from today's lesson. Jesus promises he will always be with us, even in the tough times. Jesus is with us. Even, sorry, 
<coughs> yeah. Okay. This is what I really want you to remember from today's lesson. Jesus promises he will always be with us, even in the tough times. And having Jesus with us is even better than having your teddy bear. You know why? Because Jesus is the Son of God, and he is alive, and he has the power to help us. Today, our memory verse is Matthew 28, verse 20. The whole verse reads, Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have taught you, and be sure of this. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28, 20. Especially remember that last part of the verse. Be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. I will also be sending out an activity sheet again this week. Jesus is my safety zone. And you could do some drawing in here. The other activity we'd like to do this week is I'm going to leave some sidewalk chalk out on the front porch of the church. When you have a chance this week with your family, would you come by and do some drawings or leave some encouraging, loving messages? We have lots of boys and girls and families who walk up and down our sidewalks here near our church, and we would like to give them some loving, encouraging messages. Thank you, boys and girls, and I hope to see you soon.